Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death, permadeath run of Isaac the Reborn, a mage playthrough where we are trying, or we originally tried, to become the head of the Thieves Guild. Upon reflection, since we are following Julianos, uh, that is not possible. So we will redistribute our uh, wrath and our effort potentially onto the civil war although in all fairness we haven't even started that so i wonder if obtaining the elder scroll is potentially counting well enough as a tier one goal so might as well just go with that and say this is our uh, tier one goal i will leave uh, the civil war and a couple of other quests for later playthroughs um, I much like the idea of having kind of a consistent world and not everybody needs to do everything. Uh, even if I was to finish a quest on Isaac here, might not uh, be the the main goal of the run. And instead of like accumulating all of uh, the, uh, the different achievements on one character, let's just spread them out nicely so that you guys can decide which of the characters you actually like to see. Maybe Isaac is not amongst them. Who knows? Good. We are continuing the main quest line, which is uh, uh, following uh, the trail of the Thalmor, and we need to free one of our comrades. So off we go. Kill the Thalmor, as always. I'm trying to make that much more of a difficulty, a difficulty than it needs to be. Bear, as always, tanks all of uh, the enemies, so we don't want to get shot. learn a couple of destruction spells. I don't mind fighting with absorb spells, but I mean, it's it's a pretty dated spell by now, and it shows. Cool. So, Thelmore first encounter done let's move further into the dungeon oh, that's the wrong way I think this was it. Redway warrants. Alright. No Thalmores here, but that will change very soon. Let me do all of the talking Go with Aspen. Away. Good time to start the actual battle. Far more of course, joining us once again. And before I forget it, I did not have become ethereal. It could be costly. Good, time to get out of here. I 
I cannot stress how impressed I am by the bears. Their ability to just knock back cloth wearing enemies and eat almost an entire barrage of like fire spells, dragon breath, bite attacks. They are actually way more useful than I gave them credit for. Granted, they block a bit too much in the smaller compartments, so that will give them minus points, but it's a solid summoning for sure. Good, let's get back to uh, Delphine and we'll, I'll see you there. And of course, how could it uh, be any different but a nice fight against another dragon? We will slightly fast forward that one because I don't want to go through the entirety. Show something else, but I'll show you once it gets down. Small update in the middle of the fight. It's actually quite an interesting one, I must say is uh, the Forsworn has engaged the dragon, so do we. I'm continue to, uh, continuing uh, to pepper it uh, with uh, Fire Atronax and a lot of other stuff, whilst it attacked a, con uh, a small patrol of Storm uh, Imperials right there. And a couple of other livestock here and there, so actually quite interesting to see. Anyways, I'll keep you posted. Good, the Forsworn are still attacking the dragon. I'll use that opportunity to backstep the Forsworn. Someone is fighting them. I think it's Aspen. Dragon is grounded. Definitely shoots at us. Put a fire Atronach up. The hack is joining. Let's summon a bear. That should teach her not to intervene with us. <laughs> yeah. She has no mass, uh, so the bear has easy pickings. Getting her uh, down and knocking her down. God, I love bears. Good. That makes our fight with the Forsworn much easier, thanks to the dragon distraction. Let's reload the staff and I will start to finish uh, the dragon. Good, time to, f uh, to finish that dragon. Delphine is doing her best. Problem with it is with the lightning zones, that actually deals quite a bit of damage to the dragons. So I'm wondering, uh, to the bears, I'm wondering if we're better off just having a bit of a front line and a bit of a back line. The problem with these are this is lightning wall breath and it essentially creates a lightning wall on the ground and lightning walls stack so if they have say 20 lightning walls there all of uh, the damage that they are dealing stacks and it's kind of damage over time.
trying to position the summonings in a way that the dragon does not have easy pickings all the time. You can see on the one hand, the lightning walls are massively stacking up. Cool. Another dragon down. Let me loot everything up. Okay, next up we're going to go into Carthfine Scar Spire. And we got some help with us, so should be relatively smooth sailing. I don't want to be anywhere near them when they actually hit. Oh, nice. He's getting the bear down in just a couple of hits. Shouldn't underestimate them. They are good experience, but also quite dangerous. Black soldier. Well, thank you. Fortify smithing. That's helpful. And a lot of alchemical items, which I always appreciate. Did I just sleep an hour? Oh my gosh. Well, at least we got the well-rested bonus, right? These pillars must okay, fast-forwarding the part that is yeah. not so interesting. So, after discovering that we need to defeat Alduin with a different shout, I'm here with uh, Parthenax, one of my favorite dragons in the entire game. I wasn't expecting mountain. you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? I need to learn why Dragon you... Rant. Hmm. Dren. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it. If you are Dovahkiin. All right. Why do you intrude here if not for Tinvark? Good. Let's learn the word from the heart and axe. You understand fire. Pretty good to have a an actual damage shout for once. I think I'll still have the become ethereal now, as backup just to not die. Do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. <gasps> ah yes, Sosedo Vlost Mool, the dragon blood. Run strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the Dragon Ranch? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. So, do you know Dragon Red or not? Sorrowfully, no. 
It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. So how can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this doom? I want to stop yes, Alduin. Yes, Alduin, Zemach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? I like this world and I don't want it to end. Ruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Timvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Krosis, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragon Ren shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. An Elder Scroll? What is mm, that? How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kele, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. Alright. 
So ah, where do we find Which is why world? I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does that help me? Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. All right. Do you know where I can find that scroll? No, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you. Drem your look. Greetings. Fantastic. So, I figured that would be great as a roleplay interlude. Um, since the Elder Scroll is going to be so important for us, might as well make it important by talking a bit about it. So, what is our next target then? I think I'll reflect a little bit about what we want to do next, what equipment we could uh, take, and uh, potentially find out more about where the Elder Scroll is located. Need to hand out invitations to travel. Looks Just like as we are we coming here, a couple of cultists show up. I can already see that this is not going to be a peaceful one. Uh, Solden Sar uh, is beckoning. So a couple of level 30 cultists with nasty astronauts are showing up. Well, thankfully the guards handled that one well. Spell power is good. Lots of spell power on their equipment. It's also something that F Tweaks has modified. And I wonder. Our boots with uh, magical regeneration are definitely not uh, better, but are we taking 30 points of magicka or 5% of uh, spell power? That's a good question. Currently we don't have a lot of spells that directly deal damage, so the magicka is better. But yeah, that is Solstein's invitation uh, since we're high enough to actually start going there. Anyways, uh, figured that would be interesting. Let's continue finding the Elder Scroll. So I was just thinking to myself what's the next task ahead and a letter of Quintus Naval reached me um, to repair the vial. I also uh, went and started a couple of uh, side quests. Septimus Cygnus outpost, uh, outpost is uh, the starter for a enormously important quest for us um, which would be the um, Hermineth uh, Mora uh, quest line which would be right here transcription of the lexicon and then um, essentially getting all of the free skill perks uh, since mage is a quite perk intense uh, um, build I figured that might be the right way to do it to go about it but before we do so we now need to actually find some materials for the white vial white if anyone file. sneaks up on us and 
we're going to start with the easiest one, the snow. Now, fun fact, the quest of Eidfowl is one of those like follow-up quests where you need to do the first quest and then uh, only after that you can do the second uh, part. And the second part will only become available once you actually have been at uh, the throat of the world, because only here you can get the unmelted uh, or unmelting snow which is uh, needed for it. Which means we do have two more things. Mammoth Tusk and a Forsworn Heart. Time for the second reagent of what we're trying to do. This time killing a couple of giants and mammoths. Right, off we go. The trick is not to stand too close to them. Yep, elsewise that happens. As long as you're not directly in the impact zone, it'll just tremble. They can slow you down quite good. Doesn't help them that they seem to be quite vulnerable to fire. Good. One down, the other one just runs away at the moment. And that's not even the mammoth, this, uh, we're just fighting that lonely giant. Now we fight the mammoth on top. They, these guys have a habit of just running up to you after they are down and then coming from behind and they can be quite fast if they actually start to run. Oh, 
results, my play metronauts are dealing with the mammoth. A little bit of uh, incumbent rebuffing. Good part about the play metronauts is once they die, as you can see, they leave a nice little explosion behind them. And that explosion deals extra fire damage. So in a sense I'm not too worried about them dying. Because every explosion, as you can see, deals even further fire damage. hitting that hard but they do have a huge knockback and for us with almost zero knockback resistance that would be a problem I tell you what we do have Race Undead 4, right? Isn't that good enough for the giant? Apparently not. Slightly speed up the magical regeneration. Good, we almost got them completely down. fast.
takes a while to shoot through all of these hit points. Holy. Still behind us. It's the only one of the three that still wants to fight. But we'll get it done. Theoretically, we should be able to be uh, to loot these guys, um, and there is supposedly a special window. At least that's uh, what happened the last time when I did the quest. That indicates that you can loot the special resource or the file. Let's just double check that. Mammoth, mammoth task powder. And if my memory served me well, it was just looting them and you could uh, create the powder out of it. Maybe it's the third one. Let me fast forward a bit. Okay, so open the next uh, chest and look at that. We got Meridian's beacon right here. A new hand touches the beacon. Not bad uh, to hear me and obey. To have A that. Foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. I will use it to create the sword and then eventually hand it over to my companion. So let me figure out Return how we can get that mammoth uh, task. Okay, so the solution to the problem. It's quite simple. There is one particular camp right here in the middle of Dawnstar and Whiterun and that is where we get the uh, powder. That's where I got it the last time. I just figured it uh, could spawn anywhere but the reality is uh, that's not the case. We can only get it here. On the flip side we got ourselves Meridian Beacon which is a nice gimmick as well. Kill this poor fellow. He seems to be very afraid of any fire magic. Well, single giant is not a big problem for us. There is the powder we were looking for. And now it's just one more ingredient. Good. We are ready to 
mingle a bit with a few horse horns. Apparently a couple of wolves are ready for that as well. Got the bear army with me. And we are invading Thundering Towers. Good, so third part of the white file quest. <laughs> oh, got slammed to the ground. Relatively high level source war, definitely a couple of pigeons to die. that we somehow started to attack these guys from the very top instead of, instead of how you normally would do that by coming in with the stairs and all the archers so well Yeah, interesting way of doing the entire uh, the entire thing. Let's drink a balm of magicka for a bit of a faster regeneration. is still quite strong so we have to be careful here I'll switch it around though and let them suffer the consequence of uh, killing a fire astronaut there we go worked beautifully Very good, so most of them are down.
including this guy, so... Did I by accident just start on the very top? So let's do this properly. Killed all of these clowns, and now it's time to get up even further. She's a pasta. A bit more dangerous but apparently she just runs away and crumbles so let's get a really strong bear out there and with extra hit points As I was saying, most of them are already dead. This is the right entrance for the actual tower. That's the starter for the Red Eagle questline. Maybe we'll do that as well at some point. That's the boss chest, which contains a couple of insights. forget to loot the guy and his key potentially let me just get the key real quick All right, I think we've killed every single one of them So all that is left is looting and getting the last um, item, which is actually why we came here um, in the first place. Good. Let me grab that, and we should be good. If not, my master can be a bit short-tempered. On top, they say the, the original file. So was instead made of telling me about all of that, here God. are the materials. I'll get to work on the file straight away. Good. Now we do have the choice, after he repaired the uh, file, to do a couple of things. Either healing, which would be 500 hit points instant, and that is quite helpful on our run. 
but I do have a couple of surpassing potions and I think once we scale deeper into restoration the instant effect is great but uh, could be done with the surpassing potions then we do have magical resist uh, which would be good for a character that really had more problems reaching uh, the cap of uh, MR which we don't tougher in battle is a long-term buff for uh, attack speed which for a melee character would be fine uh, deal more damage would be indeed uh, single hand and uh, and uh, two hand damage never have master Nurelian skill with potions and until next i have a decent mind for potions but i've also learned how to craft magical items he but thanks to you he died as am I. You acted very... As for my... I fear... Here, keep it. You are as much a part... Now, I'm not as skilled as Karal Good. Good. As I was saying, only ever uh, Hidden in the time. Shadows would be... Uh, would be a good stealth buff, but we don't need that, so... I'll use this one here. And the White File would allow us uh, to gain a pretty sizable magical regeneration. Uh, for 30 seconds and it does that uh, essentially once a day so that's not bad at all I like the that and uh, the um, normal healing the best like likely out of all of the effects this year will just keep us going on and on and on so we got it uh, nicely set up Good day, friend. Keeping well. Fantastic quest. Cool. Uh, that sort of concludes today's episode, I uh, would guess. We've done uh, quite a bit. You know what? Uh, let's do one more small dungeon and then we conclude it. Upon consideration, we don't have time for another dungeon. Let's just level up and call it a day. Lots and lots and lots of uh, skill points today. So we're starting with Conjuration and want to push that towards 75. Which would be a huge boost for us. Restoration is nearing 50. That's good as well. Fantastic. Illusion would be going to 50 next and then enchanting. Cool. One more Magicka. I think we're done. That's enough Magicka to, <coughs> to take our new amulet, which requires 175 base Magicka. We're getting Spell Armor. And I am thinking about actually doing Adapt Restoration. Destruction happens next. Heal Self 3 is okay, but Heal Self 2 is actually better. Mana ratio. Uh, an upgraded Arcane Ward wouldn't be too bad. I'm thinking about what else. Dispel, uh, Dispel on self isn't bad, but we do have potions for that at the moment. Arcane wards potentially my go-to for now. Purify undead would be good as well. I tell you what, we're taking Purify undead for crowd control and arcane ward. Both really substantial spells for us and next up uh, we would do one more dungeon uh, to get another ring 
that could be quite helpful and then we're off to finish hopefully the diary of death uh, with getting not only the elder scroll but also uh, Hermeto Zamora's uh, special book the one that will give us seven skill perks um, and that will catapult us into destruction which is why I haven't really skilled uh, too much into it yet but now is a good time to do that as well getting that extra boost anyways if uh, you are a destruction mage in real life try to uh, channel that uh, magicka and cast it on the like button i promise you after a few casts it will glow and uh, the thumb will go up thank you and have a good one bye bye